Hello and welcome to the back nine of round two of the 2024 PDGA Champions Cup presented by Bushnell. This is the second major of the year. I'm Erica Sinchcomb. I'm Madison Walker. We're your two hot geese. Yeah, what an intro for round three, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's moving day. It's moving day. It's cut day. My brain has moved away. <laughs> yeah, we're thriving. Thanks for joining us. Um, a blustery day out here at Northwoods. Uh, we are seeing a whole lot of colors on the scorecard. It, tough conditions, but Evelina shooting two down, started in tie for first, is now in solo first. Rachel Turton, even par on the round in solo second. Uh, Kristen Tatar in third. Um, what is she? One up on the round and Valerie Manihano sliding back just a little bit into a three-way tie for fourth. Hole 10 is a par four, 527 feet. A newer hole, though familiar from Northwoods Blue. Uh, you want to pitch, well, you can take the left side route or a right side hyzer route and try to get to the corner, or even wrap part of the corner. I believe Evelina got all the way around the corner yesterday with one of the best drives we've seen. Um, birdie is tough. It's another narrow little tunnel to a very narrow little green um, and a little tiny basket. Look at how short that thing is. I think the aggressive play is to go left side or rather straight gap. Um, if you make a mistake going that route, I think the it can be harder to scramble. Wow. She did it again. That's such an impressive shot. It's such a narrow fairway where she landed only about 10 or 12 feet wide. Valerie with a good looking shot, but catching some late trees, dropping down where she did is actually fine. <laughs> actually? Yeah. Kristen also taking the straight gap, but it's early. That's a good tree kick. She'll be positioned pretty well. And Rachel, four for four, straight gap. She's pushing a, a little too deep. Really powerful looking shot. It can be tough over there. Yeah, it sure can. Kristen deciding here how big she wants to go. It looks like she is getting aggressive. Very. Very aggressive. And that works out in her favor. She is in circle too. Most ladies taking one of the wider gaps and more of a hyzer line and just kind of pitching up and playing for par. Valerie, I think she was going inside gap and pulled it late. Regardless, she is caught up. And I'm going to be amazed if she gets down there. That is highly aggressive. Is so with such a good technical forehand that works out great. Rachel in a weird spot. Yeah, kind of a little half pitch out, gets past the last line of trees that she has to, but she has some work left to get the par. Evelina so far down here, able to just throw a nice little floaty putter pitch up for a birdie look. Trickling inside the circle. Rachel will have a look at recovering the par. Valerie's fourth, not quite in putting range. Bogey for Valerie on hole 10. Kristen with a really awesome second shot. A very simple chip up for a tap and par. Rachel, from a knee, straddled out. Kind of an awkward stance. She misses the left side. Evelina, dead center for her birdie. Looking really comfortable in the woods today. Man, who am I thinking of? Maybe I'm thinking of Haiti. Evelina did not get this one. Um, with wrapping around the corner off the tee. So, my bad. I think it was... Haiti yesterday. Haiti definitely did, but I thought... All in as well. Oh, okay, sure. All right, some, it's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to move on. Valerie with a bogey there. Rachel coming back just outside the bullseye for a bogey. She started off the round really well, but now three bogeys in a row. Looking to get some momentum on the back here. There was only four birdies on that hole today. Kona, Montgomery, Cadence Burge, and Haiti Lane also. Line A getting that. 
Evelina now in solo first place, three down through 10 holes. Hole 11, the shortest hole on the course, oftentimes the easiest. Today, the second easiest. I like a putter, little flat putter shot that finishes just slightly right at the end, coming into the sloped green softly. You can also work a flex forehand as well, a mid, whatever you feel comfortable. Today, we did have a pretty screaming right to left wind. And strangely, you could feel it ripping through the forest. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> ripping through the forest. Poetic. Oh, wow. Okay. So good. So good. Just outside the bullseye. Evelina looking cozy. Throwing these technical shots. Star AVR 3. Kristen opting for the forehand. I do like this play. She gets some ground play. Oh, yeah. Nice little harp forehand there. This is such a fun hole. Like, just challenging enough. It's not a gimme, but not too much danger. Valerie, a bit of an early release. And the wind does not help that disc get any right finish. Rachel. Right. Yep, that's Wrap. her strider again. Wrapping the corner very tightly. Coming in hot. She'll have... A little bit of obstruction on her putt. Solid looking shot there. Valerie still has a look at it, even though she faded out early on the shot. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Please, yeah. Get out of here, Valerie. Yay, we need a slow mez. Wow. Maybe it is a must get birdie. That's what commitment looks like. If you go past this basket, it can go so far into the woods. It just keeps on downhill. That was so baller. Sweet. Hmm. Kristen not able to convert there. Yeah, just high left in the chains. Rachel from around the edge of circle one. Yeah, nice. there we go. That had the right amount of pace. Big old smile. Evelina for another birdie. Three in a row. <laughs> That's so good. Look at her go, man. Just the one bogey on hole two. Evelina now three strokes ahead. That's got to feel good. I like how she started the round saying that she might have a chance. Oh, <laughs> gosh, she's just the cutest. She's the best. Hole 12 always plays as one of the harder holes. It's par five, 725 feet. First shot you want to land right about here. Second shot you want to get up the hill. You have to decide, are you going to lay up to this more open area? Or are you going to try to get into the tunnel a little bit to make your third shot easier and try to get a birdie? There's an absolute cliff on the left side that fence is blocking. Um, I guess there is OB deep. I've never thought about it before now. Is there? Maybe uh, not. It's, it's just a, it's just a, okay. It's, it's just the it's road. It's not even, yeah, it's okay. not even on the, the caddy guide. We're going to check in with the chase card here. Own Scoggins throwing a destroyer to a good spot. This one tricks you. I think people used to land a lot closer to the hillside, but then it makes the second shot harder because you're throwing more up. This has got to be like nearly 300. With a headwind. Yeah. It was a headwind. Yeah. Oh, and always be making those tester putts. And what a great birdie on hole 12. Yesterday, it played as one of the hardest holes. Today, just outside the top five at the sixth most difficult hole, averaging about a half stroke over par. Everyone's figuring it out, huh? I guess so. Evelina, man, she threw that thing so hard. I think it was a putter. Let me see. Just barely trickling into the left side. She'll be able to get up and over the hill still from that little grouping of trees, though. That's that glow halo AVR3. Oh. Valerie with an onyx ESP. Another one of the, those holes where you see mid-range to distance driver, which is, I think, always interesting to watch. Rachel pulls it late. She's lucky to get through there. 
She looks concerned. <laughs> Kristen, getting this disc to flip up, and it goes so far. She is at the base of the hill. Yeah, that was an aggressive play with an orbit grace. Yeah. Kind of wonder her game plan here. She wants to be closer to the hill. I mean, if she's just pitching up to the top, it doesn't really hurt to be that close. Yeah. But it's hard to be aggressive. She also has that forehand flex. True. Rachel not really making as much progress as you'd want on the second. Valerie not able to feel the, the headwind maybe from down below, and it sure does take control of that disc that's just slightly overturned. Classic right side. That's where most <laughs> shots filter through is that right side. Evelina just knows up enough to get up on top of the hill. Rachel's still trying to get up, working. Looks like a pretty aggressive <gasps> flex forehand. That's gorgeous. Oh, wow, so good. Dead center, and she can still even recover a par. Yeah. Kristen with a really technical second shot, and she doesn't go super aggressive here. Yeah, solid. Evelina, from a similar distance we just saw own throw, she is going backhand, though. And again, oh, man, she's just going to lace it into the bullseye. <laughs> that, she made that look so easy, but that is such a difficult shot. It's it's really cool to watch because you don't ever see people do it. I was going to say, there's probably like a 20% might be generous success rate on that shot all I, the way down the I tunnel. I want to stop saying wow, though, because I keep I feel like every time Evelyn releases, I'm like, whoa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're just big fans. We are. Kristen with a really nice oh, pushing man. forehand all the way to the green. Fantastic. Rachel with a nice straight, likely a putter shot. Leaves it just a bit short. Going to be a tester par putt. Both Valerie and Rachel going to deal with par at best. Only eight people got to circle one in regulation, only 11 to circle two. We have two people on our lead card that are putting for birdie. Hmm. Rachel, air ball to the right. Her putt is really powerful and leaves her with these long comebackers. Whew. Which she's good for. Falling over the nubs for a bogey, and that is fine on hole 12. Yeah. Nice par from Valerie. Some rare birdie looks. Kristen up first here. 22 feet, maybe. Nice. And her first birdie since hole two. Because that gets her back to even par on the round. Mm -hmm. Just being patient. Yeah, I like what she said about patience in her interview. Yep. Hard to do during the round. Evelina with a beaked corn salad. <laughs> Which is not a regional bird. It's a regional wildflower. And Evelina now... Oh, still four strokes in the lead over Kristen. Another par four with a tailwind. This 502 foot hole seems easy on paper, but this tee shot is very demanding. The landing zone is big if you can get through all of the trees and then your second shot must carry this out of bounds pond. The green is probably the most demanding part of the hole though with the basket perched on this little hill. Coming in hot, you have comeback putts that require you to put at that out of bounds pond and can sometimes turn into more than one putt. Oh, oh, goodness own. <laughs> oh, goodness own is like, I think the own fan club catchphrase. <laughs> right after let's go own. It's like the sub heading. Yeah. 
And then another, oh goodness, own, just throwing out a line of trees and hoping it fades in time, and it does. Look at it. She's amazing. Just gotta have perfect confidence and perfect birdies. Back with our lead card, Evelina, after her beaked corn salad. <laughs> She's probably pretty full. And gets through everything to nice. the landing zone. Kind of squeaking through that right side. This was a tailwind slash left to right crosswind. Very gusty and blustery on this hole and unpredictable. Oh. oh. Kristen catching the one tree. That cute little tree. So treacherous. Valerie, a little more inside. She'll be dealing with the berm. You can go for it from that little hill area. It's better a better mistake on the left side than on the right, but it can be tricky. Rachel fading just in time to get around the tricky little tree. She'll be just in front of that berm, so might not have much of a run-up, but she's lined up to the gap nicely. Valerie just going to pitch this one up. So risky to go for it. Kind of sawed off there. Mm -hmm. But we'll still be able to go across for par. Kristen also forced to lay up. Yep, well done. It's probably only 125 feet or so from there. Maybe a little bit more. Rachel, I love the standstill play here. Yeah. Oh, and that looks good. Just needs to settle down. Fantastic. Yeah, she gets a little side putt as well, not having to putt back at the pond. Evelina, let's see, is it more of a turnover line from there? Mm -hmm. It is. Ooh. She's definitely dealing with some trees, but it works out. She's going to be inside the circle for another birdie look. Yeah, friendly little kick. Valerie's third nice little standstill to about 20, 18 feet. Kristen, a little bit more of a technical line than you want, but she's so good at this angle. Yeah, she is. Leaves it just outside the bullseye for a par. Evelina for... A fifth birdie in a row. Definitely a tester here with a drop off behind oh it and my. left side and in. Yeah. Wow. D Five in a row at north side is insane. Yeah. Do we put a little golden sombrero on the wildflower? Yes, we do. Okay. A tiny, tiny golden sombrero. Teeny. Rachel with a really great putt for birdie on this anthill hole. Five in a row is always crazy, but... Yeah, especially at Northwoods, that is just... I, she's the first one to do it that we've gotten to watch. That's true. Ever? ever. Is it ever? Is it ever? Probable statistic for sure. Uh-huh. Rachel, with her own good birdie, did not mean to overshadow that, but five in a row is nuts. ha <laughs> ha. Evelina with a little head shake. Rachel, getting back to even par, looking like she's shaking off some of those nerves that she had mid-round. And back into a tie for second as well. With Kristen and Silva. All right, here we go. It's another headwind on hole 14, par 5, 731. You want to wrap this corner a little bit. Now it's a right to left crosswind coming off of the farms. Uh, lots of trees in the way. There's not one particularly great shot shape to get through. It really depends on where you land. I think a flexing sidearm might be the best play generally on the second, but you see a lot of straight backhands and slower speed discs. It's just another risk reward. You see some people get really aggressive, try to get the birdie, but this always plays as the hardest hole and a par is tr taking strokes on people. Yeah, it's, it did play indeed as the most difficult hole of the day. Again today, it averaged at nine tenths of a stroke over par yesterday it was a full stroke and a half so i think that tree hit was good from evelina first of all going too deep second of all i think the spotter has not seen anyone throw it that hard she was headed straight towards the cart in front of her 
Rachel cuts the corner just a little bit and lands in a pretty decent spot. Kristen did a great job wrapping the corner yesterday and she does again today, setting herself up for that nice little flex forehand that Erica was talking about on the second shot. Valerie giving it a little bit more width. Oh, but it fades into those corner trees. Mm, I thought that had plenty. Me too. Well, very overstable. Yeah, it, it was hard. That wind made you throw really overstable and then... It, Yep, still dealt with that corner. Valerie turfs it. Yeah, probably a little scared of turning it over. The wind really takes control of any angle you put on your disc here. Rachel does a great job of keeping it super flat. Fantastic. And I like that she's not trying to go crazy there. Just keep it in the middle, bite off maybe 250 feet. Probably even, it could be less. Kristen going to work the flex forehand, let the wind do some of it, let the trees do some of it, but really... <laughs> trusting on the amount of power she's putting on that disc. Evelina lined up pretty well going huge. Just huge. <laughs> and it <laughs> and works. It, it does work. <laughs> uh, she's lucky it didn't bounce somewhere else. Is there else. just more airspace up in those branches? I, I guess don't know. No, no leaves? It's, the, it's Maybe. science. Maybe it's just like it, it could hit a tree even if you pitch up, so you might as well rip it. And Valerie getting tangled up again. It's looking like a bogey at best here, unless she has a miracle shot. Yeah, that would be something else if she can get there from back here. Catches another tree, going to bounce to the left. Bogey's not a terrible score here, but it's it's not going to be easy even from where Valerie is now. Really, really great uh, pushing sidearm shot from Kristen to give herself a circle two putt for birdie. Nice. The, only 11 people did that today. Only two got to circle one regulation. Rachel's third. You can see she tries to throw a turnover, the wind pushing it towards that left side. She is at least in circle two. Probably not a look at it, though. This shot looks like it's so easy. It's not. It's not. The wind w made it very intimidating. Evelina does make it look extremely easy. Is she going to go six in a row <laughs> with the sixth being the hardest hole on the weekend? It sure looks like it. We need it. something special, something more special than a golden sombrero if she cans this. Valerie still struggling to get up this fairway. Oh, oh Kristen gives that a really strong look for her bit birdie bid from distance. Rachel with a really great technical blind sidearm chip shot. Valerie trying to save bogey from a knee. Ooh, good height, just misses to the right. And what we're seeing happen to Valerie is so typical for a lot of the field. Yeah, it's amazing that we're watching three of our ladies make kind of easy work of it. Evelina. <laughs> oh my gosh six in a row and one of them's the hardest like hole she, on the planet she knows how crazy this is like, yeah i know she always smiles like that but it is six in a row is crazy oh no valerie splashes out and gets a little bit of a roll She's now dealing with a headwind and a little tree Oh, you hate to see it. We've all been there. Nice par from Kristen Valerie with the quad. Moment of silence. Yeah, we'll just mourn. Okay, but what crazy thing does Evelina's sixth birdie get? What if we put it on like a like a scooter? Yeah. Or a sports okay. car. I like a scooter. Yeah, great. Who doesn't like a scooter? A beaked corn salad wearing a golden sombrero on a scooter. Honestly, it's the best six in a row I think we will see all year. Yeah. My mind's blown. 
hole 15 out of bounds all the way down the left hand side this used to be such a hard hole for fpo now everyone has it super dialed and it's just absolutely so easy you want to land somewhere in here i like a slightly understable fairway driver or maybe just a straight fairway driver with a little bit of a flat angle even if you do go out of bounds, you can save the par relatively easily from the left-hand side. If you trickle right, there's also a nice little forehand fairway over there. Overall, very gettable by everyone in the field. Checking Owen. in with a chase card, own throwing the flex sidearm. Bouncing right. to a good spot. Yeah, right at out of bounds and checking up in the perfect time. Why is she going backhand here? I, I guess she must be pinched, but that's pretty funny. Both of those shots were weird. <laughs> <laughs> and she's pretty parked for a birdie. Still a little bit of a tester, but obviously she has it. But that's what Owen is good at. Weird disc golf. And she is a master. That's crazy. Evelina. What a round. And that looks really good, too. Drifting a little bit to the right, but... So much distance, does get a tree kick. Oh, that bush is so brutal too, but so far. Could be the end of one of the best birdie streaks we've ever seen. Oh yeah. Rachel looking like she has just ultimate control over the disc. Nice, that was her strider again. Pun intended. Yeah, we, I, I said nice. <laughs> Ooh, Kristen working the forehand, pulling it into the left side, and oh. so lucky. <laughs> she knows. And To be fair, the sidearm has a better chance of kicking back out than the backhand does uh, if you hit the left corner. We watched Valerie struggle on this hole yesterday, and what a great correction. Well, her drive oh, was yeah, good. It was, it was good. the upshot yep. that got her. Kristen still in position to birdie. It's going to take one heck of a sidearm, which this is looking pretty dang good. It was a heck of a sidearm. Rachel way up here, probably going left side, hyzer forehand, actually right side sawed off, maybe a little accidentally mm -hmm. to just outside the bullseye. And it works. Uh, this, let's see. This played uh, in the top five most easiest holes of the day. Valerie turning the sidearm over a little bit too much does get to circle's edge. It can be pretty tricky over there. 40% of the field getting the circle one in regulation. Evelina, though, just forced to pitch out and play for par. Nah, she's going to throw this in. Let's go <laughs> seven. We that, want we uh, want to ramp the scooter. Wow, she uh, actually okay. did Okay, honestly, run it. that was a run. <laughs> the scooter jumps. There's yeah. flames. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen for a birdie. One heck of a birdie. Yes, indeed. Valerie trying to bounce back from that quad after some putting woes. Comes up short. Rachel with another birdie and yeah. looking relieved. <laughs> yeah, she does. It's nice to see her get her confidence back and I believe move to even par, yeah, on the round. A quarter of the field taking a birdie on this one. Rachel one under, just like I mathed with Kristen. Evelina, Evelina seven. Five strokes ahead, second place. Nuts. Hole 16, a downhill par 3, 330 feet. Treacherous. Look at all this nonsense. Uh, raging casual creek and pond. If you land in that red staked area to the left, you have to go to that um, drop zone without a penalty that we just passed. I kind of like the hyzer flip low shot with a fairway driver, but you see mids. You don't really see forehands. It's usually a backhand pretty straight shot or little tiny baby flicks. 
Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah. Get up. Still great. Yeah. This was not a lot of wind, but occasionally it would gust. Uh, right. Usually a headwind. Maybe a left to right crosswind. She would. She would. She would. I just said you don't see this. You don't, though. Not very often. Kristen coming up just a little bit short. She's still putting, but it's probably pretty obstructed. Evelina pulling it to the right, which is usually the better mistake to make, but can be kind of wild over there. Everyone watching this really closely because that creek that turned into a raging river the day prior can steal discs, so you want to keep a solid eye out. We watched Valerie with some a weird rule violation yesterday after going into the casual area to the left. Nice correction. Dead straight. Um, that was such a pretty flip up from Valerie. Evelina in the casual water, taking it at the first available lie. And <laughs> squeaks over the wall. Just barely. Kristen in this little ditch. It's very muddy in here. There's not a great look at the basket. Yeah, if you didn't watch yesterday, what Madison was referring to is if you putt back towards that casual relief area, you have to go all the way back to the drop zone, which is crazy. So Valerie chose to just take a penalty stroke and re-putt. So it was pretty crazy. What a nice little technical out from where she was, like a super wristy shot. Really awkward looking squat too. Impressive that she got enough power to get up and over the logs. Only nine people got to circle one in regulation. You can see everyone on the lead card kind of struggling to find it. There was only six birdies on the day, though, so you're okay with getting a par here. You feel good at just not bogeying or having to deal with that casual relief area. That was a good par save from Evelina. As Madison said, round of pars, not too shabby in hole 16. Of course, birdie would be nice, but uh, we got two more chances here. Evelina holding on to that five stroke lead going into the last two holes of moving day. Very challenging, very technical, but very fun hole 17. There's some options if you go the route the drone flies. Most people are gonna go forehand. If you go the left gap, it's a backhand turnover or kind of a forced flex shot. There's some options here, but that out of bounds on the left-hand side comes into play for almost every shot that you could throw if you catch any tree. We did have a, a bit of a headwind on this hole and it was gusting Ooh. here and there. Rachel overturns her shot, doesn't have time to come back. She will likely progress to that optional drop zone. Kristen working the right side, sidearm flex. As long as this doesn't fade OB, it's looking so good. Yeah, hits the bridge and checks up. It's crazy that Evelina is seven down. The best round we've seen on this layout was the five down that Silva Sarnen shot in round one. And this hole, she could birdie with that shot, sit. And she can eagle 18. <laughs> oh, that's so great. She is on one. Yeah, she is. That was her champion, Jay. Valerie flipping one up the left side. It's a little too windy to work the hyzer flip right now. Turns it over just a teeny bit, but it's a nice place to land for an easy par, and you're very happy with that on 17. Rachel, best she can do without a throw-in is just save a bogey looking to put this close, and she does. Valerie pitching up her second, no problem. Kristen for a long look at a birdie. Oh. Oh, it's Come in. on. She made, the, she made a putt from this side of the water yesterday, she too. Did. That's probably why she's giving three different shrugs. Like, I guess it's her I guess her that's play. my play. Yeah, I guess it's... I guess I got it. Look at this nubbing in. Nib. 
<laughs> Sweet. Kristen stringing them together. Really patient. I don't want to call it a rough start exactly for Kristen, but she definitely wasn't off to a hot start. But look at her go now. Three of the last nine. No bogeys. Evelina for a birdie. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a scary putt. If she misses the basket there, it can drop down into the water and turn into a pretty challenging comeback putt. But, man, she's looking still so confident on the yeah. putting green. That might be my favorite miss putt reaction I've ever <laughs> seen of hers. Like, Deep sigh. Come on. No, she's, like, kind of smiling. Like, you kind of really? make those. Such a good drive. One to go. Kristen gonna overtake Rachel with that two-stroke swing. Own Scoggins three down through 17 in a tie for third with Rachel. Hole 18, another par five eagleable at only 632. You see a lot of sidearms off the tee. You see aggressive backhand shots, um, mostly flexing shots to get the eagle. The left side is just woods line, um, no OB. You can see the right side is staked OB that wraps around the basket. Uh, it does not feel good to par this one. Um, the tee shot is tricky. You probably only need to get like 200 to 250 feet of distance to birdie it, but these ladies are thinking eagle. Real quick, one last chase card check in with Owen Scoggins. Currently in a tie for fourth. Always looks overturned and then it just it checks up perfectly. That's what perfect trust looks like. Just trying to get up to the top of the hill. Fortunately, oh. uh, did it? Yeah, no. it's good. Oh, I thought it was an out of bounds. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe some wind. Yeah, you can see it's windy on the green. Really nice round from Own there. <laughs> she goes back and thinks about her choices. Own going to finish the round at four down with that birdie. Oh, that's so good. Okay. So, so good. Yeah, you don't need that much, but... For an eagle, you do. Yeah, you do. You're right. Uh, that was in Orbit Rive. We did see Kristen finish out with an eagle yesterday. Ooh, no. Oh. oh. Disaster. <sighs> that's where you're... She'd be lucky to... Get both? I don't know. Can she even pitch out? Yeah, she can. There, There's some gaps over there. There's some little paths. Oh, no. And what another bizarre reaction off the tree. And I'm not, I'm not going to say that I'm glad that we're seeing this, but this hole does look really easy, and we have only seen people lace this tee shot, but it is a difficult tee shot. It's a lot of risk. Yeah, even though we see eagles, it's still an, an extremely impressive shot. Uh, <laughs> Rachel squeaks one through right side. A quarter of the field still taking a bogey or worse here. And a lot of times those bogeys kind of stack up. Oh, boy. Evelina going from a knee in the creek. Oh, it's good. That's so good. Oh, my gosh. Watch her birdie it. <laughs> Look at her. Sacrifice. <laughs> it was worth it. I don't think she's actually going to birdie it, but it would be cool. But oh, is she? Wow, she smashed this. Is she? That's huge. And not to circle two. Okay, I was going to be blown away. Look at her leg. <laughs> Valerie on the left side as well. Not quite as bad, but dealing with a lot of stuff. I like it, that Northwoods is like, oh, you can have seven birdies in a row, but I'm going to I'm gonna get you real dirty before you leave. <laughs> You're going to have to pay. Oh, man, that's so true. <laughs> Rachel overturning this and challenging the right side just a bit but she's on the top of the hill Kristen got the eagle with the forehand forehand yesterday she's probably even farther than she was off the tee yesterday and that looks great that is such a technical angle oh wow so good <laughs> she seems moderately fine with it yeah not impressed kind of surprised to see valerie go sidearm 
I mean, she has it, don't get me wrong, but she's just been choosing the backhand all day. And oh, um, does she turns out it? she has it. <laughs> she has it. So good. <laughs> so good. You almost forget she has such a good one because mm -hmm. she throws so many backhands. Go in. Evelina. She's Great just, scramble. She's just dialed. Dirty, though. She dialed in dirty. <laughs> Rachel. Nice little forehand from Rachel. Yeah. We haven't got to see very many of those from her today. She also has it. She does. Wow. What Eagle. a finish. Back to back eags. And that's to go to four down. Um, tying own for the second hot round. I don't know what to call it. Runner up hot round to this lady right here. Seven down, six birdies in a row, only one bogey. 10.28 rated Whoa. unofficially. And I can't believe it's not more. Yeah. And Rachel needed that birdie to stay on lead card in a tie with, oh, oh wait, no, she didn't. Okay. It was nice though. It was nice to get under par. <laughs> she is um, two strokes ahead of Silva. So that's math for you. And that's going to wrap up moving day and cut day and round three of this major. Yeah, you had to shoot 955 golf to make the cut. Uh, only 22 women advance on Sunday. I think it's supposed to be nicer tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, and we're going to watch Own Scoggins attack this course. So get ready for some puzzled commentary <laughs> <laughs> as we try to figure out how she's going to attack. Evelina, Kristen Tatar, and Rachel Turton going to join own on the lead card tomorrow for the final round of uh what the champions cup the champions our cup. second major of the year i almost said ledgestone yeah it's it's weird it's ledgestone part one uh-huh um but yeah thanks for hanging with us uh especially for everyone that watched both round two and three as they were released you guys rule Thanks to all of the volunteers and staff and media and everyone for working long really hard. days. Yeah, two very long days uh, at the Champions Cup. And, yep, we still have one more round to crown our next major champion. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. And we're the two hot geese. Hog. <laughs>